episode of Gone Rogue, and in this episode of Gone Rogue, I will be talking about how, how to break the mold. That is right, in this episode of Gone Rogue, I will be talking about how it is okay to sometimes bend the rules and break the mold. And one of many examples, the main example I'm going to use in this episode of Gone Rogue is uh, using this freeway uh, because I'll tell you later in, in this episode and also the c c car color, uh, my, pref my preference of what, uh, the car color that I uh, like to pick. So that being said, we are going south towards San Diego, and it's pretty cool to see the uh, Pacific Surfliner, which is a main truck train on to your right. Maybe you can uh, see through that angle. And, uh, yeah, so first off, I'm going to talk about breaking the mold. We are so used to, that is right, we are so used to doing things that we always do. We always follow our tendencies and never think of trying to do something different. And it is okay to do, try to do something different because not only you do something different, but you get to burn in that Amtrak train. I'm, I'm driving 75. I've been following following that Amtrak train. I'm doing 70, 70 now. It's doing like 90. That's pretty awesome right there. Um, where was I? Hey, yeah. So we all we always stick to doing one thing, and and it's a human behavior doing that thing. And we never try to experiment of doing something different. And the one thing that I hope you get out of this video is maybe you can do something different on the things, how you handle uh, things, that, what you do in life. That's the main goal of this episode. And the example is right now the this is my, in, in my, how, how long have I been driving now? Six, uh, two, I've been probably, I've been driving like, uh, I've been driving for like eight to ten years and I've never driven down this freeway before on my day off. I've never driven down this freeway. I've, driven down it once or twice, but never I seem to care that going in the opposite direction. And usually on my day off, I go on uh, my little adventures and film Alex's adventures that you see on this YouTube channel. And I rarely go south of the county line that I live in. So this is a rare moment for this episode of Gone Road, as we are about to, as we are about to make a curve here. Uh, yeah, so I never thought that the place that I'm going, going south, is much closer than I thought. It's in terms of timing, in terms of timing, and. Uh, distance and the place that I'm going is no different is almost no different than the places that I usually go which is up north from where I live so but we got to get past this truck so now I don't want to just cut people off and I don't feel like passing on my right because who knows that you always pass on your left I'm not going to break that hold
So, um, yeah, so that's a, one of many examples is that, is that I started to find out that the place that I'm going south, which is Oceanside, which is in the San Diego area, is no different if I go north towards Los Angeles. And how awesome is that? So I, after years of driving, I finally figured this out. And I should have uh, driven on this road, driven on this freeway more often than never. So, yeah. So I'm not sure if, the, if you can see it on camera because there's lots of um, helicopters and military activity going on. So we're passing through Camp Pendleton, if you're not familiar with this area. And, uh, and another example that I'm going to use is, uh, is a car, car color. Uh, this car is more than a year old now. And when I bought the second generation Nissan Road, At first, I wanted to continue with the platinum and graphite color, which is a, in simple terms, a gray color. A gray, I want to drive a gray color car. And always in my life, uh, throughout my life, I've never seen, seen myself different. Uh, I've never seen myself drive a different color car other than gray. Somehow, as a kid, I always wanted to wanted uh, a gray color car if, uh, if it was my family picking up a new car or me I always wanted a gray color uh, car and once I bought this uh, car the second generation Nissan Rogue or Rogue Force 2 I started to think differently than ever before I started to break the mold and maybe I should choose something different. And I started to think that hmm, maybe I shouldn't stick with the same car color as the first generation Nissan Rogue. And I would think it'd be cool to select my favorite color, which is blue. But at first, my initial color, my initial color that I wanted is select an orange, a orange color car, like the wallpapers like uh, the Nissan Road wallpapers that you can look up on online and thought it would have been pretty awesome if oh, that orange color which comes at extra cost and it's rare to find on dealer shop, dealer ship lots so, they, so it wasn't available so I went to my second color which is a blue color car Lucky enough, I have a, that I'm driving right now, a Caspian blue color car. And driving more than a year with this car, and I have no regrets. That is right, I have no regrets uh, driving this awesome car. And hopefully that you uh, uh, get a message from this that it's okay to break the mold and try something different in your life. So, yeah, that's the message that I wanted to say. And I'm going to end it for this episode of Gone Road. If you like this video, please give this video a huge thumbs up. Comment in the comments below what you think about this video. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Make sure to check out my other YouTube content that, uh, that is on this channel. Thank you for watching Gone Road, and I will see you on the next one.